So that didn't take very long at all. I point was 9.25, it's 9.40, I'm already back in the car. Um, she just put the bracket back on, took the two ends off the front, pulled the wire up, prepped the tooth the same way, put on the blue stuff, rinsed it off, uh, put on the glue, put the bracket, put the light, put the wires back through, and here I am back in the car and on my way back to work. So like if you pop off a bracket, give, give your orthodontist a call. They can very quickly put it back on if they're pretty good. Um, I'm actually quite happy to have it done for this quickly. Um, but that's me, back to work. Yay, I'm so excited. And uh, that's it. Okay, so today is December the 10th. I have uh, my first adjustment tomorrow morning. And lo and behold, one of my brackets popped off of the crown that I have on the my left. You're right. It's sliding along the, the wire. So actually pretty good timing because um, I guess I'll be able to fix it tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow's my adjustment and I'll have uh, footage from the first bracket that came off, this bracket, and uh, whatever they do new. So, see you tomorrow morning. Okay, so here's the deal. I um, filmed the segment on, uh, right after December the 11th when I got my uh, first adjustment, but I somehow I think I've lost the footage. I can't find it anywhere. Um, on that first adjustment, when I went in, uh, they discovered that one of my, I, I knew that one of my brackets was off because I could move it along the wire. Turns out that actually two of my brackets were off. Um, not quite sure why. Didn't lose the brackets, but I didn't. And uh, they had to put them on. You have to use two different uh, methods to put them on because one's on the ceramic, one's on a large um, filling. And uh, once they got that on, uh, they replaced the wires and, uh, and the bottom, the ba two back teeth had not been connected into the um, uh, wires, so those were connected up. And I think about three or four hours later, the teeth started hurting. I uh, lasted for about, <coughs> excuse me, uh, th <coughs> three or four days, and uh, and but. The way that my teeth have moved, I don't have a bite now, so I can't actually bite on anything. There's only one part of my mouth that actually connects, which is uh, over in this corner. And uh, so I have to be really careful how I bite. And then these hooks on the back, they're really annoying. They, uh, every time I bite, I actually bite down on the hooks when I'm eating. Um, so you try and eat very carefully, try and eat soft foods. Uh, I've actually been off work for the last week through Christmas. I uh, go back after New Year's. Um, unfortunately, I got uh, the virus of the century and for about for a week, solid week now, I haven't been feeling well. Uh, quite mm, crappy feeling. Uh, so I've been eating a lot of, I haven't actually had an appetite, so I haven't been eating, which is kind of a break. Because um, it is hard to eat. But everyone keeps telling me that once everything moves around, that uh, I'll be able to eat better. But first adjustment was over. Didn't go too bad. Um, three or four days of discomfort. And here now we are. Um, actually, it's come along pretty good. Um, my bottom teeth are almost completely into place on the front four. 
I have huge gaps. Uh, the top ones seem to be pretty good. Um, let's see if we can give you a look at it. So being um, not too far out from having had it done, I'm quite pleased and uh, my next adjustment's in February and I'll update you then. Uh, sorry I lost the footage and didn't get around to it, uh, but this is my update.